You learned about direct lighting in 3ds Max. That's the lighting that emanates from a light source such as the simulated sunlight or from our photometric street light directly onto a surface. That's not really the only light in the scene. Because we're rendering with a mental ray renderer, we have the ability to calculate indirect lighting as well. That is the light that's bouncing from one surface to another after it's illuminated by direct light. There are two forms of indirect light calculation available in 3ds Max that we will be taking a look at. The first is called Final Gathering. This is a relatively efficient method of calculating bounced light coming off of surfaces. It is a fairly accurate method of calculating indirect illumination. Primarily, it's the efficiency that makes this a useful rendering method. The second form of indirect illumination calculation is called global illumination. Now, this term is funny because in the grand scheme of computer-generated graphics, the term global illumination means the sum of all illumination in the scene. That includes both direct and indirect lighting. However, in 3ds Max, it has a much more specific meaning. Global illumination is the process of calculating photons emitted from light sources. Then it calculates the bouncing of these photons from one surface to another. This not only helps to add light to the scene, both forms of indirect light calculation provide the ability to calculate what is called color bleeding. This is when light striking the surface of a certain color picks up that color and transfers it onto the next surface. This has a tendency to tint your scene depending on the color of the objects in your scene. 